so guys, uh, welcome, and obviously uh, the heat's already picking up for the, uh, the sapphires. It hasn't been released in Australia yet, but you've come from a fantastic screen at Cannes. So can you talk a bit about your how film festival experience? Uh, mine was super quick. It was like <laughs> 46 hours. I spent two more hours flying than I did on the <laughs> ground. You, you were doing, Shari was doing a play, or still doing the same yeah, play. Yeah, So uh, sh sh you can only make it for 48 hours. Yeah. <laughs> wow, did you feel like you got enough crammed into those, those I didn't get to eat a creme brulee, so I'll have to go back for that one. Um, um, yeah, crammed so much in. Uh -huh. And while operating on Australian time zone in, yeah. in, the, in their time Feels zone. Over yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, so, I mean, can you talk a bit about uh, how you got involved? Well, yeah, it was um, a stage play originally back in 2004, 2005, and um, Tony Briggs, the writer of the yeah. stage. I was actually the actor, an actor in the stage play. So I played uh, Jimmy Middleton. Okay, yeah. And he was in love with Cynthia, who was played by Deb Malman at the time. So that's basically where it started for me. I was in the belly of the beast and Tony, after the play had finished in Sydney, it sold out in Sydney at Belvoir Street. And he got some offers from around the world and um, basically he asked me to direct it. And I had a life to lead and I'd do my own stuff. I said, oh yeah, whatever Tony, I'll say yes. Uh, not knowing the ramifications of what that was. Mm. But um, yeah, that was it basically. So it started back in uh, good old 2005. But it was funny at that time, I just did a short film and it got into the Berlin Film Festival. And so when I left, because uh, you, when you do a play, like for six to eight weeks, you're, you're stuck into that project yeah. in a theatre sense. So I went away for a week and Bob let me off, and et cetera. But they had to get someone to play the role. So who played the role? Tony <laughs> Briggs. <laughs> so it's a little bit incestuous, but um, yeah, it all started around that time. And uh, if you talk a bit about casting the girls, because obviously you couldn't have this film without having yeah. four leads playing the sapphire. Look, that took a long time. It took about five to six months to cast um, the four girls that we have today. So it, it was we, we tried to see everyone, you know, around Australia, uh, as many people as we could see. So, and it just happened in the end. They, you know, you guys did about five or six auditions. Yeah. You know, I remember Shari Miranda too, because I sort of knew you from NIDA, or I didn't go to NIDA, but I just knew. I think I came out and yeah. spoke, or just met Miranda and Shari and. I was thinking, oh, Miranda and Shari's tests are coming through today from Nikki Barrett, the casting person. I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that'll be good. Oh, good to see them. You know, like thinking, oh, yeah, okay. From some dingy room in Darwin. Yeah, I know. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, that'll be all right. I'll just show them to me. I was after, the, I, was, I want to see these other two, three girls. Like, but oh, yeah, I'll look at them too. And then I looked at them and I was like, oh, look out. What are they doing? I'm like, they got something good here. And um, then, of course, you had about five more auditions to get the role. Yeah. So it sort of went through a little strenuous task because we just wanted to get the group right yeah. and because of the schedule we had we needed to get the right team on board and sometimes when you cast you you just never know you know what might happen someone might chuck hissy fits every day which Shari did didn't know yeah. no, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, or I don't care as long as they produce on set you know someone might be the nicest person mm. but it's sort of like, hey dude like start acting but um, no, it, it sort of, it went very well. And, you know, even even today, everyone's still sort of friends, which is yeah, sort of the main yeah. thing. Did you uh, hang, around, hang about at all with the other girls before you started filming to kind of build up um, a bit of chemistry? Miranda and I were quite close anyway. Uh, and we were really lucky in the sense that we had a four week rehearsal period beforehand. I don't think a lot of Australian films or films in general get that time mm. before you, you know, get on set and cameras start rolling. So we had four weeks of, Bonding time, personal training, dance choreography, all That's of that right, stuff, sweating that. together, <laughs> singing together. Was it four or six crying weeks? Crying together. Four. Four weeks, yeah, wow. Yeah. And then obviously you all went to Vietnam. So, Wayne, can you talk a bit about your experiences shooting? Well, we, yeah, we, we, worked, um, we worked long days over there, mm. but it was incredible. Uh, Melinda Doring, the production designer, Warwick, uh, the cinematographer, myself, and Kylie, one of the producers, went over early this year to suss out locations for a week or so. And then we went back a week earlier before we shot, so it was beautiful. And we were staying at the Rex Hotel, yeah. which is sort of an iconic hotel in Saigon where all the sort of journalists hung out during the Vietnam War, but it's a bit different these days. I think Walter Cronkite had his office there. And um, so we were on the rooftop mainly and yeah. after every night we shot, you know, mm -hmm. just um, relaxing. So it was, it was a special experience, but I have to admit from my point of view, I can't remember much because um, we were working that hard. And uh, yeah. so for me, 
Uh, we had we it just was beautiful weather. The the everyone was friendly. The crew were great. So it was another good experience in, in shooting the film, but it was, for me, I just worked and worked and worked. Yeah, and still you would have been, you know, because we didn't have a lot of time to adjust time-wise. So we were, the nights we wrapped at 4 a.m. there, it was actually 9 a.m. here. And so going, oh my gosh, I've been working for that, I've been working till 9 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. You have a lot of jet lag problems. Because yep. Of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, it was, it, was, it was good. I can't remember it because I remember the wrap party that night or, you know, the wrap drinks. I think I went to bed early because it was just like I was just so bugged. Yeah, you just slid away silently. So yeah, nobody. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. Shari, do you have any, looking back at the shoot now, do you have any favourite moments of the uh, whole experience? So many. I, Vietnam was definitely an experience all in itself, completely different. It's like we got two for one. We got two completely different experiences in the one job. Um, cold, the cold, the cold of Aubrey at like 3 a.m. in the morning will stay with me forever, <laughs> coming from Darwin. <laughs> but just rocking up on set every day and getting to work with amazing people. And, and Wayne, what was the experience like? I mean, I assume you've shown the film to the original Sapphires. Yeah. What, what has their, their response been? Um, they were beautifully receptive but you know in their own generous way and just their humble way they were like yeah it's a lovely film Wayne we're very proud of you we're very proud of Tony and Keith Kylie and Rose and the girls it's you've done a lovely job you know but they you know that day they saw it they, they, they were you know beautiful about it um, you know so I'm really looking forward to this Thursday night when they have a couple of thousand people there to you know say you know we proud of you and respect you and thank mm. you for your story because yeah. uh, we've well, I've done that in the last seven years but it's just nice to get this film out into the big screen and now out to the world so yeah. ask me again Dave on uh, <laughs> Thurs <laughs> Thursday night at 10 30 yeah. at the Rialto. That would be the first Australian audience. Yeah. Yeah very much and that night too um, what's great about it is that um, you know I was thinking about always thinking about Saigon but remember we're in Aubrey Mm. How that the like the Koori community in Aubrey oh, and yeah. and the Koori and the non-indigenous yep. community in Aubrey were just so supportive. Yeah, um, and we were only there two weeks or three weeks, yeah. if you, but two weeks with you mob, and um, it was just great. We had the the mayor gave us a reception, you know, welcome to country, and a lot of black and white people were there just saying we're so thankful. We hadn't even shot a day yet, mm -hmm. and I was saying we're so thankful. And even the extras on set, even in there's a scene at the pub with the sort of racism and stuff, those extras were so beautiful. And they, oh, we can't, you know, we tr we're sick of giving you girls bad looks. Mm -hmm. And even the um, the Koori community there who were extras, because they were non-actors, no one sort of acted before, but they were great. They were sort of, there was no, they just all wanted to act, you know, <laughs> and be those characters, you know, 40 years ago. So, yeah, I don't know what your question was, Dave, but it just, yeah. I think that was a good answer, though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, that was, it was, it was just a quite special moment at the start. It was a good kickoff, anyway. Fantastic, well, that's my time up, so thank you very much Great. indeed. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. Lovely to meet you. Lovely.